Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode. Just a few pictures that have uh, been on the easel recently, but today we're going to be working on this picture here. I've just started working on the water. It's been blocked in and I've just started putting some oil on there, but it looks nothing like the photograph. So I'm going to show you now how to make it look more realistic, or well, more photorealistic I suppose. Um, so let's start having a look at that right now. So let's start by looking at the waterline, for example. Although it's still well, obviously unfinished, um, we have a very straight edge there where the water meets the bank. And the photograph, we don't have that. We have more rocks coming into the, into the water. Um, so it's just less of a regular edge. As you can see here, we don't have any reflections of those darker colors. So we need to add those as well. Um, in fact, what we'll do is we'll add that first of all, and then we'll move on to other aspects that we can improve. But probably from about here onwards, we have much more of a, a sort of, we lose the edge a little bit more. So all I'm doing is I've mixed some ivory black and a little bit of burnt umber there with some thinner, and some thinner. And I'm just going to put some darker areas right on that waterline there. And then we need to kind of replicate that once we've done it in the actual reflection itself. So we're just kind of trying to mess up, make it a little bit less clean, that waterline. So also what I'm doing with this, because the paint is very dark, it's given us that contrast as well which we can see a bit more of in the photograph. Now, I don't mind it being a little bit lighter, so not quite so dark, my painting, but uh, it can probably be just a touch darker, and especially right on that waterline, like here, just add a few little dark areas. <laughs> got those ripples they're just catching the sky reflection in those so we can put those in we can use the same brush or we can use one of these coma brushes okay so there we have clean brush now mix the color get that roughly right now I'm going to hold the brush horizontally rather than vertically and we're just going to do a, just a gentle drag on the panel, only small. Just using the very tip of the brush. And it's just noticing these little things that help the painting look photographic. Okay, so one of the things we can do now is, if I look in this area here, I mean, it's still in very much a blocked in state. There's not a great deal of detail in there. And it seems to me that there are a lot more sort of horizontal lines in the water. So we can do what we've done with the light blue, but with a different color now, we can add some slightly darker areas to the water. We can also add a few more of these green reflections. And then as we move into this area here, you can see the, bed of that river um, and you can see the light shining on it but just in this area here we're just going to adjust this a little bit so that it looks a little bit less blocked in and a bit more detail so using the same brush giving it a little bit of a clean we're just going to add some of the darker tones 
first of all. So I'm going to add some of these greener reflections here now, make those a little bit more prominent. What I'm going to do is, yes, I need to work on these rocks, but I'm just going to add some of this uh, blue in here. Um, they're still in the blocked in state that, so we're going to add that now. So mixed up blue. Might be slightly, slightly darker than I wanted, but that's fine. And I'm just going to almost kind of re-block this in and then we can mess around with the edges after we've done that. Now there's some various different shades of blue within that. There's some darker areas, but let's just give it a blanket color first of all. So we're just doing the bigger areas there with that larger brush and uh, that was basically the brush. It's just a flat, flat brush. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to integrate this white area here into the darker area just to lose that more obvious edge. And then once we've done that, we will reverse it and we'll integrate some of those darker bits into the light. So using a rigger brush now. So you just need to be really observant and see what's happening in the photograph or in your reference material. I think it's really important to actually have some form of reference material. And I think if you, us in particular, of course, if you want it to be realistic, um, it's very difficult to do that or to make it look realistic unless you've got a reference photograph or you're actually out there painting it. Right, so that's the lighter part put into the dark. Now we need to reverse that by putting those darker areas in. I'm going to keep those darker areas almost with a slight blue. Can afford to go a little bit darker because I'm painting on the wet paint of that sky reflection. So it's going to it's going to pick up a little bit of that that paint and make it a, a hair lighter anyway. So I don't mind that it's a little bit darker than probably it needs to be.
so there are some lighter areas underneath here as well really quite orange so let's try and put those in as well now they seem to be where the light is breaking through the tree coming through the tree obviously there's one here somewhere and it's casting a shadow now in between those shadows we have these areas that are much brighter So the water's pretty much there. I'm just now going to start working on these rocks here. Uh, so I've just mixed up a dark color. And she's using a small brush, small flat brush, small flat hog. Just gonna put in some of these darker areas. Just kind of, just roughly, just getting those in. And then as you know, we then go ahead and add the highlights, but just get all these darker bits in. No real, no detail as such. You're not really copying the photograph too faithfully. And then just putting in some of the slightly darker areas just into this light patch here. Now there aren't too many. If you look at the photograph, you've just got the odd area that is quite a bit darker, but the rest is predominantly light. So I'm not gonna to put too many of these darker bits in. Okay, so I'm going to put that brush to one side. I'm now going to go back to the rigger brush again. Once again, with that dark, I'm thinning it down. And once again, I'm just going to outline just gently some of the rocks that are here. Very thin edge to it. I'm just going to pick out a few of those rocks. So that all that's left now is just to add the lighter areas and the lighter areas that are over here in the distance, we can just use this flat hog brush again. So lightening up that blue, that little bluer color, and I'm just gonna put in some a 
lighter areas within that shade there. So there we go, simple as that. Just a case of um, really looking closely at your reference photograph um, and not skimping on all those little bits that you can see. Sometimes it's easy just to say, ah, oh, it looks good enough, um, which I did actually by not putting in some of the rocks. But I don't really think that it made a massive difference. At the end, when I finish the picture, if I think that it you know, looks better with than I'll add. But um, there we go, not too bad. Smack my head on the uh, camera, be careful Mike. So there we go, that's it. Um, I'm gonna be finishing this lot off tomorrow or possibly next week. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and subscribe if you wanna see anything else. Um, I know I've mentioned it in a few videos, but new website coming soon, www.shopmichaeljamesmith.com. Loads and loads of interesting things on there. Um, I think you'll like it. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash, forward slash, Michael James Smith. Um, appreciate all of your support. For those of you that have supported me already, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. There's going to be lots of new content coming for you um, soon. Um, I'm playing with a few different things for Patreon, but I'll let you know when it's coming. Anyway, I shall see you all later. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks ever so much for watching. Goodbye.